In reason to celebrate at all these figures or not? No, not really. Uh, the uh, 0.4 figure you just uh, quoted there was uh, lower than the market was expecting. The market was uh, anticipating 0.5% growth. Um, and uh, bear in mind that uh, this was really a rebound from uh, July. The weather in July, it was the wettest, sixth wettest July since 1837. And obviously that affected high street sales. Um, and uh, there wasn't really the rebound that had been anticipated. Now, there were a few glimmers of hope, really confirming what we've heard from the British retail consortium which also uh, publishes its own numbers we know that uh, sales of uh, beauty and cosmetics have been uh, fairly robust book sales were strong during the month as well that's possibly uh, a bit of a back to school back to uh, college effect but elsewhere uh, there was a drop in uh, autumn and in petrol and diesel uh, retailers uh, suggesting that was linked to uh, a sharp increase in petrol and diesel prices during the month uh, non-food sales volumes grew by 0.6 percent uh, that's the quantity of stuff bought rather than the value of uh, stuff bought. And uh, really, uh, the figures speak to this uh, continuing uh, sort of... Uh difference is uh, spread between volumes, which is the quantity of stuff bought, and values, which is the uh, value of stuff bought. Uh, values obviously are rising because uh, prices are uh, being flattered by inflation. The number's really nothing to write home about, and uh, the pound, which obviously fell very sharply yesterday when the Bank of England unexpectedly uh, held interest rates for the first time in 15 meetings. Well, uh, the pound yesterday uh, hit its lowest level since early March against the US dollar. It uh, rallied a bit during the afternoon, but it's uh, drifted off again on these figures this morning.